So, Mr. Burak, we're now here at the investment conference. Uh, can you tell us what are the investment opportunities in the Ukrainian defense sector? Well, uh, as I told during my speech, they're quite broad, in fact. For the last three years, uh, since the new team is managing the Ukrainian defense industry, there had been a lot of accomplishments. But the major ones, which are actually leading to investment attractiveness, are that we were able to shift business model from selling all military stock to producing new equipment. We were able to shift the reputation on international markets from being a great armament dealer to a civilized business, international business. And uh, thirdly, we started reform of uh, defense industry, which is going on and happening now. The reform will... Uh, the ultimate aim of reform is to create a transparent a business climate and business structure for international investors to put their capital into. And uh, yeah, well, that's a pre prerequisite for uh, Ukrainian defense industry to uh, be investment attractive. Do you see potential for foreign investors coming into Ukraine into your, into your sector? Yeah, great potential, in fact. So, uh, there are delegations coming in and out, I would say, each week, basically, and uh, this conference in particular uh, had raised a lot of interest. So we have uh, different projects to offer, starting from small scale, finishing with large scale. So anything starting from small venture capital input and startups, finishing with uh, strategic investment for the world major players in this industry. Can we get some examples? Sure. Uh, Antonov, for instance, has a. We developed a model for investing into Antonov. Um, Antonov recently passed. A, there was a decision by the government which leads to corporatization of Antonov, so creation of a shareholding company out of Antonov. And Antonov is now has really tremendous programs on creation of new aircrafts with our technology, which is a mature and durable uh, transport aircraft. Uh, together with Western components, uh, this creates a really competitive product on the world market, the proof of which we uh, recently showcased uh, the brand new AN-132D, which is uh, manufactured for Saudi Arabia. So this is the first ever aircraft produced without Russian components, and it's a very good piece of equipment which would be definitely competitive on the world market. And the fact that this aircraft was produced is in itself a historical event, because we nobody believed uh, in the world that we can produce airplanes without Russia. So a lot of people really thought that even Antonov is a Russian company, which it is not. So all the competence, all the IP rests here in Ukraine. And that's a very good company to invest into. Is there potential for Ukraine's airspace industry? Because back in the Soviet time, Ukraine was a major player in the airspace. Sure. What is, what is the state of current affairs right now? Antonov is just one of the examples. Uh, there is a whole little bunch of opportunities starting from small UAVs finishing with large tactical UAVs which are able to carry weapons. We all we can do all that and we are doing this now. So the, the range of projects is so broad that uh, well it, you just cherry pick anything which you're interested in and we'll give it you the solution and or the proposal where what could be interesting. What about the financing? Do you get enough financing from the government or this is being done on a commercial basis? So if, again, if we're talking mm -hmm. about airspace industry. So due to the fact that government has to do everything uh, simultaneously and at the same time, because there was not much development of the aerospace and defense industry f until 2014, uh, we are counting more to private, uh, we are counting on private capital. But of, of course there is government investment to some extent, but it's not enough to, uh, to grow the, the business uh, to, the, to the extent that we want. So I would say that we strategically are concentrating on attraction of uh, foreign investment into aerospace industry. If we go from investment to trade, uh, can we talk a little bit about um, the export strategy of mm -hmm. Ukraine's uh, defense uh, industry and without revealing any state secrets, mm -hmm. what can you tell us about uh, your main export items, um, let's say back in 2016? So the business model of this industry is basically very similar to a car manufacturing model. 
So there is a whole world of the Soviet and post-Soviet equipment, which is in dozens of countries. So our main uh, revenue uh, comes from uh, servicing that equipment. And now we are shifting to modernization of that equipment together with Western high-tech components. So you take the tank, uh, it's still the same body of the tank as it was 50 years ago, but uh, the components and the, um, everything in it are uh, should be modern now. It should have thermal vision, it should have uh, laser guidance, whatever. So we are doing all that. We have our own solutions. We have solutions uh, of uh, our partners from the West and other countries. So this is a very interesting uh, model to explore because the, this market is growing. And you know, uh, countries are not all uh, rich and they cannot afford themselves to buy more and more new equipment. So they have to service that equipment. And there is a combination of win-win uh, uh, opportunities if you cooperate with Ukrainian defense industry where we give you where we give a client where we have an industrial base uh, Western company brings technology we combine it together and give the product to country X uh, for uh, be to be able to have a defense capability of today what about value-added products uh, what are the main um, export items in value-added mm -hmm. products in defense industry it's aerospace mostly, so 40% I think it's aerospace, then it's, uh, it's armored vehicles, then it's electronics, uh, then it's, uh, so we are basically present in five industries, plus to which I named, this is missiles and high precision weapons and Navy. So, the, but the most exported is aerospace. And who would you say are Ukraine's main customers? If regional wise is uh, uh, Asia, Far Asia is uh, the main customer, uh, then it's Middle East and North Africa and then the rest of the world. Understood. Well, uh, mm -hmm. we wish you best of luck in your further uh, endeavors and uh, thank mm -hmm. you very much for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you.